In this tutorial, we will see how to find the standard time once a stopwatch time study has been completed. There are three steps to finding the standard time once the stopwatch time study has been completed. First, you find the observed time. This is simply the average of all the individual observations. Second, you find the normal time. This is the observed time adjusted for worker performance. Third, you find the standard time. This is the normal time adjusted by an allowance factor. The allowance factor is used to compensate for worker fatigue, worker breaks, getting material, and so on. The equations are shown on the slide. As stated earlier, the observed time, or OT, is just the average of the individual observations. That is, you add them up and divide by their number. Normal time, or NT, is OT times the performance rating, or PR, of the worker. Finally, standard time, or ST, is just NT times an allowance factor, or AF. The allowance factor is computed differently depending on if the allowance is based on job time, shown in the first equation, or workday time, shown in the second equation. Another way to look at this is we use the job equation when each job has its own allowance factor, and the day equation when all similar jobs have the same allowance factor. In practice, the two values tend to be very close. A stopwatch time study of a particular operation yields the observed times shown on the slide. The worker was given a performance rating of 1.10. Using an allowance of 15% of job time, determine the appropriate standard time for this operation. To find the observed time, we simply average the 10 observations. They average to 0 0.886. The worker was rated at 1.1, so we find the normal time by multiplying the observed time of 0 0.886 times the performance rating of 1.10. That gives us 0 0.975. Why? A rating of 1.1 means the worker worked 110% as hard as a generic or normal worker. Thus, if it takes a high-performing worker 0.886 minute to perform the job, it would take a normal worker longer, or 0.975 minute. Had the worker been rated at less than 100%, then the resulting normal time would have been less than the observed time. The problem told us to use a job allowance factor, so A is just 1 plus 0.15 equals 1.15. Standard time is just the normal time of 0.975 times the allowance factor of 1.15, that equals 1.121. A stopwatch time study of a particular operation yields the observed times shown on the slide. The worker was given a performance rating of 0 0.95. Using an allowance of 10% of the workday, determine the appropriate standard time for this operation. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. The observations average to an observed time of 1.284. Multiplying that times the performance rating of 0.95 yields 1.220. Computing A based on the workday formula yields 1.111. Multiplying that times the normal time of 1.220 yields a standard time of 1.355. If this video helped you working operations management problems, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel.